my unboxing video for the Russo I made from the Roach Lab. Uh, there are 31 species of roaches in this box we're going to have a look at. So, I'm going to get a look up again. Cody from the Roach Lab was super freaking helpful. Gave me a really good deal on a couple species. And it looks like we got just under the radar with shipping. Because today it's 60 degrees out, tomorrow's night it's 16. So. I said he put two heat packs in here. Not really. But, uh, yeah. here's my Episimplos syndicas. Not a super common species. Looks like there's a couple adults in there. So, this should get going for me pretty fast. Oh, wait, these guys are a little. Oh, yep. Here's the Caribou Alucias, small yellow roaches. They're incredibly small. Now these are my U polyphagus sinensis, the Chinese medicinal roach white eyes. Not sure if we can find any in here or not. Yeah, some little guys. Oh, these are my Lobotera decipiens, or lobe winged cockroaches. Another tiny, fast species. Oh, these are my dehenstromies. Uh, kind of like climbing South African red runners. They're about half the size of a red runner. It is my Comsodi Schwartzy, the smallest roaches in the hobby. Looks like I might have an adult male in there somewhere, so hopefully he sent me an adult female as well. Also looks like everyone made it through the trip just fine. Uh, oh, these are my Blatella Vegas, the German cockroach cousins, they're field roaches. Plenty of adults in here. Really like their striping. Mm, let's do a bigger one. What are these? Oh, these are my Parca Vlada fulvescens. This species I kept in the past. Uh, I kept it with my warty glow spots. And they did really well. Up until the glow spots started doing better. Now this one doesn't look like there's too many adults in here. It looks like there's an adult female or two. But nothing much else. So those will be waiting a little bit. And here's my giant lobster roaches. And they definitely deserve the name. These guys are going to be a blast in their container. How fun actual lobster roaches are. I think this is one of my Periplanetas. Yep. These are my Periplana Americana Mixed Dark he sent me. Uh, these guys I'll be hopefully isolating down and producing an actual black strain of them to mix with my darker white white eyes to perform to yeah, create the Venom Morph that's currently available over in Europe. Oh, I'm going to eat that. <laughs> oh, these are my Taiwanese leaf mimics. 
species. It wasn't originally going to get, since, you know, can't handle their own waste and all that fun stuff. But he had a pretty good deal on them. Let's see, there's, hopefully the adult doesn't decide to fly. But there's one right on top here. I think this is another Periplanata. Yeah, this is the P. Brune. Or the brown roach. He's got a little bit smaller than the American roaches. But a really nice dark coloration to him when they mature. Yeah, these are my Uricalus floridanias, the Florida skunk roaches. That's another ones he had for he had on sale. And I decided to pick up some, so I didn't only have one Uricalus species. These guys is defensive odor. It's supposed to smell like a combination of almonds and maraschino cherries. Not sure what that's supposed to defend from, but uh, another Periplana. Uh, these are my favorite, yep. Uh, Periplana Australasia. These guys aren't pests like their cousins. Well, not a Periplana pest unless you live in very filthy conditions. But these guys have an absolutely gorgeous pronotum pattern and get almost the same size as their cousins, the American roaches. It looks like there's some babies in there that might have hatched out during the shipment. Or you snagged a ride on one of the adults. Need a couple more small guys here. Uh, these are my uh, the little penguins. I'm assuming. And it says Malaysian, then oops on it. So I'm gonna take a gander and think this is the little penguins. I don't really blame them for running weird on these guys. They like to haul it out of the container as soon as you open it. And see their nice little tuxedo striping. Now oh, this is the tropical springtail call tree sent me. Since mine lovingly got overrun by dwarf white ice pods and don't really feel like murdering my roach species by overrunning them with dwarf whites, so he nicely sent me another one. Oh, these are my uh, Periplana Americana white eyes, and I'm get a couple more going to my colony so I can start doing br the breeding project for the venom morph. You can kind of see the white eyes on the one climbing on top. But these guys are completely blind, however it never affected them so the gene became present even in a wild population. All these guys are ones added last minute. Probably won't be able to see too many of them. But these are uh, Balta nojulata. A very, very pretty, tiny ectobit species. 